Hello everybody, this is Retro Beard. I'm coming to you with a, a new sort of video, um, not to replace the retrospectives and documentaries, but to supplement them because they take quite a while for me to make and put together. And I like to, you know, have something else cut out there. And so this will be a weekly video every Saturday, ideally. And um, it's going to be largely unscripted. I've got this tablet here just for you know bullet points to remind myself because I like to at least you know remember everything possible and um, so I just wanted to go through it and then hopefully it'll be something that people enjoy and it'll help to draw new people in and um, you know grows into a community um, I mean you can add, I'd like you to in, in comments if you wish to ask me any questions on any subject it could, I mean ideally modern and retro gaming and hardware or technical questions, um, advice, anything. I mean, it can even be stuff that's nothing to do with gaming if you want. I'll, I'll answer any question. I'm up for that. Um, and if you really want to have some, you know, have some fun or try and drive me crazy, you can ask some of the panel members that I have in my um, my retrospective videos. You know, maybe a, ask a Spartan a question or a, a Jedi Master, a Kung Fu Master or, um, the, the um, night of the the, the um, night's watch, or what else was there? There was uh, Bat Batman, you know all that stuff. Um, I'm going to show you updates on any games or hardware that I've bought and I, or I've been playing. You know, just to try and get some conversation going, some um, so all of us can talk amongst ourselves. Um, any news in the gaming world that interests me. I mean, quite a lot of the modern stuff, it sort of interests me, but I especially love anything like new gadgets or hardware that's coming out, um, like upscalers or converters or consolizers, you know, all that kind of stuff. I, look, I mean, there's some brilliant YouTube channels for that, like Retro RGB, My Life in Gaming, um, what's he called? MBG, I believe, the uh, Australian guy, he's, he's amazing, and they're, they're all brilliant, and I, I've learned a lot from them, so I recommend them to you, it's a shout out. Um, I'll start talking about any of my gaming memories and stories, because I've got some crazy memories, especially in the past, when these retro games were actually new games, cutting edge games, I've got some real good stories, or at least, at least I think they are anyway, um, and I'll share any news or upcoming information on, on my um, work on, my, on the other social media platforms. Like I, I'm doing really well on um, Instagram in a, in a pretty short amount of time. That's growing. Um, and in the future, I intend to start streaming. Um, I'll share any updates on that and any news if it, you know if it interests you. Um, yeah, just general stuff like that, and get that going so that every week there's at least one video, and, and then my retrospectives. I always try and do one every week, but every two weeks, latest. And we've got plenty of content, plenty of things going on, and we can, I can really, we can really grow this and make it brilliant and better. Um, I think that's everything. Um, I'll show you a few of the um, purchases, purchases that I've had recently. Classic, well, modern, modern classic, Super Smash Brothers on the 3DS. I don't know if that's in in focus because it's just me. I mean, every, I don't really need to introduce this game. Everybody knows this game, don't they? It's fantastic. It's probably, probably in my, in my view, it must be either the best or one of the best Super Smash Brothers games. It's, it's got, I mean, what a roster of characters. It's fantastic. And at least over here in the UK, the online online side is still on, which is amazing. I love it, and I know, I know it's got a range of old and modern characters. So, brilliant! I won't go into this one anymore because you all know it. I'm sure. I've been recently really enjoying exploring the PlayStation 3 library because that's. I know it's not really a retro console, but it's it's heading that way. I mean, I've heard some, some gaming news that Sony are looking at shutting down the PlayStation 3 store for game digital games either this month or next month with the release of the PlayStation 5 
so they can focus their resources on that, which is a real shame. So any any digital games on PlayStation 3 store that you've wanted or you've been eyeing up, I recommend you grab them while you can because there's some fantastic titles on there, and I don't, and I don't I don't see any sign of them surviving and carrying on. At least most of them. There's some real classics. I, I love the PlayStation 3. I wasn't. Um, I wasn't a, a big PlayStation 3 guy back in the day when it was actually a current gen system. I was an Xbox 360 guy. I mean, I, I, I was mad on the um, Gears of War games. The Gears of War 2, that really started for me. The Horde mode, oh my god, I had some fun on there. You know, right laughs. And then Gears of War 3 came out and I was in heaven. Absolute heaven. The, the, the Horde mode, I mean, the you know, you're building the defences and all the things you can do. Up to, I mean, I know it sounds naughty, but this was a long time ago. I used to, you know, troll people, like activate proximity mines and get them blown up and, you know, defence great battles, epic wars and all sorts of stuff, which I'll go into a later date. And Halo 3, probably my best Xbox 360 memories were on Halo 3. Um, with a very, you know, very special person, I used to play it with a lot. And we used to go in on the, on the campaign. Um, I was Master Chief and this person was... Um, Arbiter, and we had laughs, sometimes playing it really seriously, sometimes trolling each other, like shooting the Arbiter's soldiers or the um, UNSC soldiers, and, and, and then they'd attack you and have self-defense and get each other killed, and doing the missions. We, we, we totally kicked butt and took names, and, and, and you know, getting in the, um, the Warthog together and driving around, and one on the gun, one driving, all that stuff, it was... It was a time, a brilliant time in gaming, and, 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 and to be alive as a gamer, and when, we've, when you've got good people to play with, it makes it ten times better, and I'll, and I'll always love that. I mean, I bought, I bought the Master Chief Collection, really, to try and relive it a little bit, a few, quite a few years ago now. And it looks glorious in 4K, 60fps on my, on my Xbox One X, but it ain't just the hardware and the graphics, it's the time. The time is the time of your life and the people you're with, isn't it? I mean, at least in my view, I'm a, I'm a very social gamer at heart, which is funny because I do most of my gaming on my own these days. But still, we are what we are, aren't we? Make the most of what we've got. And what was I talking about anyway? Sorry, yes, the PlayStation. So I'm on a tangent there, I do that. The PlayStation 3, so yeah, grab it where you can. Um, oh yes, this game. It's a PlayStation 3 game. See, I told you, I get random. It's, um, I'm sure some of you will know it, but if you don't, I recommend it. Disagaya D2. Hopefully that's in focus. Like I say, I'm on my own, so if not, you have to forgive me. It's a sort of, um, what would you call it? A tactical, strategic RPG. Old school um, 2D graphics, but with the lovely PlayStation 3 horsepower behind it. Great game. I got it really cheap, just a few pound. And that's why the PlayStation 3 is so good to collect for, because many of the great games are, are, are like, I don't know about your local currency, so I'd assume it's the same, but in the UK at least, you're talking two or three pound, up to about 25 pound, you know, the better games. And for that, you're getting a timeless classic that actually still looks good on your modern TVs, because the PlayStation 3 was obviously a HD console, so the graphics don't look a gen behind what you're getting now, they look half a gen behind. I mean, I'm talking about the Xbox One X and the PlayStation 4 comparisons. I don't, I don't know about the new ones. Um, yeah. So, um, the next one, and I am a pretty predictable fellow. This a guy free, and this was just a few quid. Another sort of game. I mean, it's more of the same. Fantastic 2D sprite work, great music, and that anime, um, anime art style, which I love anime. I'm, I'm, I've loved anime since before it was even called anime. When it, you know, back in the 80s, I was the very early animes in the early 80s. I was watching, possibly even late 70s, depends. Um, like Battle of the Planets when that first came out. I think there was another name for it, but I knew it was Battle of the Planets, and then there was. Ulysses, which was amazing. Anybody who not seen that, I recommend. And then, and then, of course, into other anime. Um, I used to watch a lot of the anime, anime they released here on the manga brand, um, manga label, like Vampire Hunter D, Fist of the North Star, Dominion Tank Police, which is total legend, Apple Seed. Um, oh God, there were so many. You know, Battle Angel, Alita, um, Macross. Um, been so many. I need to actually start buying them again on Blu-ray and DVD. I, I like some of the more modern, well, by my standards, because I'm old, because I'm obviously getting old. 
some of the more modern ones like Bleach. And I know I'm probably a bit old for Bleach, but I just love it. The aesthetic, the style, the drama, um, even the romance and stuff. I love Bleach. I've got like 10 seasons of it on DVD. I'd like to get the whole lot on Blu-ray at some point and the, and the feature films and all that. I love Studio Ghibli or Ghibli, depends how you pronounce it, which I'm not really worried about that. Um, as long as we like it, who cares what we call it? Um, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for Spirit of the Way, Howl's Moving Castle. Um, it's funny how your memory goes blank, isn't it, when you want to say something? Um, the Cat Returns, that's amazing. Um, My Neighbour Totoro, that brings me back to being a small child when you felt the world was full of magic. I love that. Um, what else? God, there's so many. I've got, I've got loads. I should get them out and actually put my money where my mouth is. Um, I liked, I liked, and this is this is um, an, an anime. This is like um, the same sort of company as um, Bleach. I liked, oh, what was it called? Fairy Tale. I know once again it's childish, but I, you know some stuff's timeless. If you're four or if you're eight, you can enjoy it. You know, like traditional stuff like Alice in Wonderland or you know Cinderella. You love it no matter how old you are, as long as you've got a child in your heart, you, you know, young heart. But yeah, I do love my anime, and I want to keep getting more and more. It makes me feel good. Anyway, tangent again. Let's try the next one. This is really going to be a surprise. Disagaya 4. Or Disgaea, whatever. More of the same. I haven't got lots to say. One player, action, 2D, sprite work. Fantastic. Anime, all those strange noises they make, like gasping sounds and stuff, which is, I'm sure that's some sort of Japanese social response that we don't have over here but I love it and that's what that exoticness and overseas and different cultures what I love even when they do a western style story they still got all the Japanese mannerisms and stuff and, and styles to it like bowing and all that fantastic I love Japanese stuff and Valkyria Chronicles Ta da fantastic if you don't know anything about this game totally recommend it Legend, one of the best um, games on the PlayStation 3 in my modest view, and all the other parts that go onto the PlayStation 4 are like, fantastic. Get the lot and just love them. All these games were dirt cheap. I mean, this is Sega. Sega still make good stuff. And I come from the heyday of the, you know, the Mega Drive and the Master System and the Game Gear in the Mega or Sega CD, the Sega 32 or the Me or the Mega 32X, the 32X we called it. Um, Saturn to a lesser degree, Dreamcast to a lesser degree, although they were fantastic, but I weren't as heavily involved with them. Um, yep, so that's my recent little purchases. I mean, I, I get I get stuff all the time. I probably should know better, really. But what the heck? We all need advice, don't we? And, and you know, we're not hurting anyone. We're not. We're not. We've not. It's not an addictive habit, you know, like drinking and smoking. At least gaming is a thing that we can switch on and off. And yeah. Um, on that note, I'm going to go off because these were meant to be quick videos, not not me rambling on for hours. So um, yeah, if, um, thank you everybody for all the views and all the support and, subs and um, subscriptions so far. I really appreciate it. And all the support on the social media, especially Instagram, it's amazing. It's to, to I've gotten over 4,500 um, followers in, in a matter of months. It's amazing for, for me at least, and I only compete with myself because everybody should. Only compare how well you're doing with how with your own progress and your own past, never with anybody else. Because it's your own journey, it's your own race, and that's all that matters. I know we're in a competitive world, but it ain't good. Being competitive with everybody else and looking down on other people so you can be further up, it it ain't good karma, and it'll make you feel worthless when you see other people who are doing so much better. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't set limits on myself, but nor do I want to bring other people down to achieve it or, or feel better than people because that's just ego and the sooner we start shedding that the better okay well um thank you uh, please like subscribe and com comment and engage and i'll do it i'll answer anything i'll talk about anything and um thanks a lot it's been really amazing so far on this journey um take care you're all fantastic this is um retro beard signing out <laughs>